Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, my name is Misty and I go around the island of Oahu and other places, sometimes around the world and the US to try out different food. And uh, today's restaurant or little hole in the wall is Oneava Market's Steak Rave. It's in beautiful Kailua, um, small town with beautiful beaches and um, who would have thought the best affordable steak plate, shrimp plates, chicken plates, and noodles is in a small mom and pop market in Kailua. So I got two different dishes just to show you different things. Um, I guess we'll start off with what they're known for. It's steak. And um, I didn't get the steak plate with rice and a salad, but if you get the regular plate lunch, it comes with rice and a salad. So sorry, no mac salad, but I'm not a mac salad fan e anyway. Um, but I got the steak just to try it with their famous noodles. A lot of people say they really like their noodles. Um, going in there, it's very tiny and actually it's very popular. I was in there, there was about another two people waiting for their food and a whole bunch of people came and I came really early. They opened at 10 o'clock in the morning and I went a little after 10, maybe 10, 15 and there was already a line of people. So it's very popular. Um, this is a close-up of the noodles and steak. Um, in the noodles, it appears to have kamuboku fish cake, um, some spam and cabbage. So you do get a bunch of stuff in there. It's not just plain noodles. And they do seem to cook their um, steak well done. So I read in different reviews that if you don't like that, um, they're very nice and they will cook it for you, medium or whatever, if you don't like well done steak. But I, I don't mind. Uh, they claim it's all top sirloin, so that's the kind of steak you're going to get. Um, they are famous for their steak sauce, so if you do go there, don't forget to put it on. Um, because it was super busy at the counter, I couldn't show putting it on there, but it seems to be like a soy marinade with a little bit of chili flakes and stuff like that. So let's take a taste of the noodles first. Here we go. Yeah, very flavorful. I got a bit of cabbage in there that gives it a crunch with the soft noodle. It appears to be like a yakisoba type noodle. Yum, that's super tasty. Let's get a bite with some Spam and some Kamaboku. That's that pink stuff. Super delicious. Um, it's pretty much fish cake if you don't know. In this bite I got some cabbage, Spam, and some fish cake. Mmm. And there's onion in there too. Really good. I can see how this can fill you up. And uh, curb your carb cravings, I guess. So this is the steak. Um, she cuts it up in little thin strips. Um, I think there's a fair amount of steak in here and I like that it's cut thin. thin. Some people might think they're getting cheated or whatever, but I think it makes it easier to eat without a knife, and especially when you're on the go and you just want a plate lunch. Um, it's easy to eat, so I appreciate that. It's got a nice char on the outside. I think that part that I got didn't even have much sauce on it. So without the sauce even, it's pretty delicious. It's seasoned really well. And even though it's well done, it's not too dry. Um, I'm going to give a close-up of what the sauce looks like. It looks like, like I said, a little chili. It's got some sesame seed on there, kind of like a soy-based sauce. So I'm going to try it with the sauce on it. To me, it's not dry, like I said, but with the sauce on it, it makes it extra juicy and um, I like the flavor. I don't think it's actually too strong or salty even though it looked like a soy based marinade. Even though you see red flakes of chili, it's not spicy at all. It's got a good um, kind of almost similar to a teriyaki type taste and I think it pairs really well with the noodles. Wow, this is a great plate of noodles. Very delicious. The steak re pairs really well with it. Something different than your typical rice plate. I think it's great, especially for the price. It's $12.95 for this plate of steak noodles. They also make, I believe for the same price, shrimp noodles. Um, so they will um, have some grilled shrimp on it or um, chicken. So if you don't eat red meat, you can get those options as well. All right, for our next plate, I got the North Shore garlic shrimp and it's supposed to mimic a North North Shore type of shrimp which is pretty much almost like a shrimp scampi if you've never been here before to taste it. Got a lot of garlic in there and a lot of butter. Comes with a bed of rice and 
uh, tossed salad with your choice of dressing. I got ranch and um, most of their other plates, if you were to get just a steak plate, it comes with rice and the tossed salad with your choice of dressing. Um, it looks amazing. Let me count the pieces before we start. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pieces of pretty good size shrimp. They do come with the shell on, but that's what they do in the North Shore anyway. Um, but it's been cleaned. It's already got a cut here. Um, so most of the vein is out. There is a little piece of vein in this one, but I will peel this shrimp and get back to you. All right, I'm gonna try the shrimp. Wow, good garlic flavor. Obviously you can see a lot of garlic on it. Um, some of the garlic got on the rice as well, which is delicious. Soaks in all that butter. Yum, that sauce is so good on the rice. So if you're a fan of garlic and butter, having that sauce on the rice is so delicious. Let's take a taste of this salad. It looks like a pretty cheap iceberg mix with uh, shred, shredded carrots and shredded purple cabbage. Um, so the ranch is on it already. Looks kind of watery, but let's try it. I'm gonna assume it's um, just pre-bought ranch, but it's got a good tang to it um, compared to the one I buy at home. So it's a good tangy ranch. I can't complain, it's a simple salad, but I like tossed salad, so I think it's really uh, fresh lettuce, even though it's iceberg, but I think it goes well with the rice and the shrimp, so I'm a fan of tossed salad, sorry. Even though I got ranch, usually that's heavy, but with the tang in the ranch, it actually cuts through the butteriness and the fattiness of all that shrimp butter and this butter that goes into your rice, even though it's good. So I would imagine they have all your usual favorite, you know, dressing. So if you were to get Italian or something with a vinegar base, it would be really get great to also cut through the fattiness of the shrimp. This shrimp is super good. The flavor really goes through the meat, even though it's got the shell on because they cut the top, they pre-cut it to devein it. So it really soaks into the meat, really delicious. A lot of people say that some people eat it with the shell on. I'm not a fan of that. I don't think it's cooked as crispy to eat the shell, but I will try. Yeah, not my thing. It's a little bit too grizzly for me, but I guess it gives you extra fiber. When you walk in the market, um, it's pretty much your typical mom and pop Hawaii type of market with drinks and liquor and whatever. So it's really quaint and small in there. But right when you walk into the market, um, you can see the steak rave place. So you don't even need to get into the market part to order your food. Um, there isn't really a place to eat in there. There's like a little stand up bar if you did want to eat in there, but it gets pretty crowded with people ordering and waiting for their orders. So it's best to take it out and go. I will say the service was very nice, very polite and nice Asian lady out front. It took a little while to cook because they cook it for you um, ready to order. So just be patient. It didn't take that long, but it's definitely not like fast food. So it takes a while, maybe like 10 minutes. Man, the food came out piping hot. So I'm not gonna complain, it's freshly made food. The only con is the parking. It is such a small little lot in the front. Um, there are some awkward stalls on the side of the wall that maybe fit three cars, but the front probably fits two, maybe three if the other person's courteous and parks more towards the corner so they can fit somebody else in. But I was lucky, there are metered stalls along Oneava Street. So I just uh, parked over there, parallel parked, and just walked across the street. So keep in mind that there is street parking, but if you're going on a weekend, I think it might get crowded at street parking and you know that might be hard to do. But I'm telling you, it's so worth it. The food is super ono and it's just like hole in the wall, good food. All right, so if you're curious how much that North Shore shrimp plate is and you gotta be specific and say that because it comes with the butter and the garlic, it is $15.95, a little bit pricey, but 
probably cheaper than the North Shore or any food truck out there and still has the great amazing taste of North Shore shrimp. Great seasonings, perfectly seasoned, not too salty, perfect amount of butter, perfect amount of garlic. If you're a garlic lover, you'll love this. So I want to put that out there. If you are on a budget, they have their regular shrimp plate, which is just like their steak plate, comes with rice and a salad just like this one, but you're gonna have to be specific and tell her you want it either grilled or steamed. So it won't come with the butter or the uh, garlic and all that. It's just gonna be grilled shrimp, which is great too, you know, can't complain. I like grilled shrimp. It is $9.99 for a plate lunch of seafood. And that's like amazing uh, in these times, $9.99, where can you get that? And for shrimp. So. If you're on a budget, you're craving seafood, you can just get that. Just don't get the butter shrimp. So I can live with that. If I crave shrimp, I can go with um, $9.99 grilled shrimp. So that's pretty much Oneava Market Steak Rave. Impressed me. I was very amazed at all the plate lunches I tasted today. Noodles were on point. Steak was juicy with that sauce and perfectly seasoned. Has that nice, simple salt and pepper taste and um, the shrimp was amazing. So definitely go out there if you're in the Kailua area, especially you know if you're a tourist and you come to Kailua Beach or Lanikai and you want something delicious to eat, but also cheap, on the cheap, go to Oneava Market. Can't go wrong. Looks sketchy from the outside if you're not from Hawaii, but it's just a simple, regular mom and pop store serving freaking awesome food. So go support them if you're on the Kailua side or the Windward side. So hopefully this was informative to you. If it was, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next week on another food adventure. And take care everybody, have a safe and great weekend. Peace out.